In this video we're going to look at how we get started with DDM and in this case we're going to be looking at document management with DDM. So once DDM is installed we first need to add ourselves as a user to the system. So if we browse to the Design Data Manager Start menu and select DDM Administration we can log into the Administration module and we log in as Administrator uh, without a password. You see we have a sample user set up in the system and if we right click on this user we can select to add similar and now we just add ourselves as a user. You can see we can also set up an email address and we could if we want uh, set a password. In this case I'm not going to set a password. Now we've selected that, we've created the new user with all the same permissions as the sample user and this sample user gives us all of the permissions that we need to start working with DDM. So we can close DDM administration and if we go to the start menu again we can select and find DDM office. Now I log in as myself and the DDM user interface opens. So I'm going to just expand this area a little bit, pull this line down so that we can see all the areas of the screen. So what I want to do um, is to add a document into DDM. So I'm going to browse to my desktop and here's the document that I want to add and I simply drag it from the file system into DDM. And I get a new window open that allows me to assign some properties to this document before importing it into the database. So if I right click on this and select the properties I can assign a, a proper document name um, and you can see the description has been transferred from the file name. So I'm going to call this document CSI number one. I'm happy with that now so I click on OK so you see the, the name is assigned and I click on OK again to complete saving that document to DDM. Now whenever we create a new document in the system it's automatically reserved to us as a user to prevent other people making changes to our documents. And I can see that by looking at my workbench. My workbench is where my documents are located and you can see that the document is reserved to me because it has a padlock symbol against it. I can also see items that I've just created under My Recent Items. So My Recent Items shows all of the things that I've recently worked on. And here we can see the same document with its description at a work in progress state. And we can also see that Mark has it reserved. So we know when we're looking in DDM who has items reserved for modification. So now that I've uh, created this document, what I want to do is to open it up and make some changes to it. So to open it I simply double click on the document itself and we'll give it a title. Once I've made my changes I can save it just using the application's normal save icon and I'm prompted to update the record in DDM so I'm going to use the overwrite option here and that will have updated this document in DDM with the changes that I've just made. To confirm that if I just open it again you'll see we've got the changes that have been made to the document. Okay so once I've completed work on my document what I want to do is change it from work in progress to a release document. So if I right click on it I can use the release to option to set, set the document to a released state. You see we have checked and approved Checked and approved is effectively a state before release which confirms that the work on the document has been completed. In this case I'm going to go straight to released and you'll see that the document is now released and it's no longer reserved by me because it's being protected by the database. The release document can't be modified um, and so if I do need to make changes to it then I need to create a new issue of the document. So let's make a new issue of this document. If we select to um, open the document we can make some changes. Uh, 
and once we've made the changes again we select to save the document back. So in this case I can't overwrite the release document but what I can do is create a new issue so we select to use the up issue command which opens the issue or revision manager window. Here I select next issue which jumps the, uh, the document to issue 2 and I'm also going to fill in a change reason. So I add to my change reason. So this is um, a short description. Down here we can have a long description that fully describes the changes that are being made to the document. Click on OK. Click on OK again and the document, the up issued document, is now stored to DDM. So you'll see that we have issue 2 at a work in progress state and issue 1 has now moved to under review indicating to all users that there are changes taking place on this document and we should look for a later issue. Okay, so once we've completed work on issue 2 of the document again we can select to release it and so we select released and you'll see that issue 1 has now automatically been superseded with the new release document issue 2. Let's take a look at some of the other things that we can do with documents. It might be that we have a, a document in the system that is a good starting point for a new document that we want to create. It might also be that we store our document templates in DDM so that everyone creates new documents based on the document templates that have been stored and controlled within DDM. So I want to use uh, this document which is a good starting point for a new document that I want to create and um, so I want to make a, a copy of this document inside DDM. So I'm going to open the document. This is going to be a new document in my series which is called Moving on with DDM. And I'm now going to save it back to DDM. You'll see, because the original document is released, I can't overwrite it, but I can save as, so I can make a copy using the save as function. This time we're going to give it a new name, and this is Moving on with DDM. And so I can now store that, and if we return to DDM, we can see that we've now got a new document in our list of documents that has been copied from an existing document in the database. So let's take a look at how we search for items in DDM. So I'm going to select my search type down here, which is search all items, and in my free search window, I'm going to type CSI. So I'm going to search for a specific document in the database and this returns the two documents um, issue 1 and 2 of CSI number 1. It might be uh, that we want to do a more open search so if I just want to search for documents that start with CSI then I find all of the documents that start with CSI um, and we can combine our search terms so that if I add moving here, then it's finding, it's picking up on moving in the description of CSI uh, document number two. This video is an introduction to document management in DDM. There are many more powerful features available in DDM, so look for other movies in this series to discover these and find how DDM can bring security and control to document management in your organization.